So let's go over the concept of an initial offer. In consumer marketing, there's this idea where you almost give away the farm in exchange for creating a customer for the first time. And the reason for this is that it's much easier to get someone who's already bought from you to buy from you again than it is to get someone who's never bought from you to buy from you for the first time. So in consumer marketing, you have this idea. You'll probably realize that you've been a party to this yourself. They'll throw some crazy offer at someone that's basically impossible for them to refuse, right? Buy one, get one free or 35 or 40% off of something, right? For your first visit. Well, the reason for this is that it's, it's a loss leader for the company. They know that they're losing money. But the point is, they're going to create a lifetime customer out of you because they're going to blow your minds with the customer experience so much that then you're going to buy at full price next time you need that thing. Well, in the business community, most businesses are not very good at implementing this kind of marketing. They're afraid that if they don't constantly try to sell their services at full value, they'll waste their own time or they'll waste their money or they'll go out of business. This couldn't be further from the truth. The reality is that just like in consumer marketing, businesses can take advantage of the exact same thing to create a customer and blow their mind with a great customer experience. And then that person is going to come back and they're going to buy from them at their full suite of services as well when the time comes. So the concept of an initial offer is to take something that you have that you either give away for free right now, or maybe that's a part of your sales process, something that's a value that you have. And instead of giving it away only when you deal with a client or giving it away to people who you want to become clients, put it on your website as a low cost, high value offering, right? Sell it for way less than it's worth, but sell it for something. Because then what happens is someone decides or makes the agreement with you that you have something they're willing to give up money for. This turns them into a customer. At this point, you now have a customer relationship with this person, not just a prospect relationship. The basic concept is here. The basic concept here is finding ways that you can turn someone from a lead into a customer. Take someone from being on an email list that you're growing to being on a customer list that you're growing. It's a completely different conversation. So that's the basic idea of the initial offer.